Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to episode 34 or 35 of the Fallout Settlement Guide. Today's episode is going to be slightly different than regular. We're taking a break from going around all the settlements and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I managed to reach 100 happiness on my settlement and you will unlock the benevolent and you will unlock the benevolent leader trophy slash achievement. Okay, I haven't actually done it yet, got to 100, but I can. It may go up to 100 at any second. So it might go up just as I'm talking. But if it doesn't, I will show you exactly how to get there. Okay, so this episode, I'm just going to be explaining exactly how to get it. Obviously, the achievement itself is probably the most difficult one to get. Simply because the actual... way to get to a hundred is pretty much broken. Okay, so you have to do a certain amount of things to get there. Now, I didn't come up with this method. I simply just looked online for different ones because I didn't really know exactly what you need to do to get to a hundred. And um, obviously I have already loads and loads of different settlements. None of them were anywhere near 100 happiness. But basically you have to do just this, okay? You have to find a settlement. Okay, I'm here at Sunshine Tidings Club. And you have to get six people here. Okay? Now, what I recommend to do is, because you need to do some building, if you don't have much materials here, but you have materials somewhere else, I would get seven people and set up a supply line. I set up a supply line to Sanctuary, where I've got tens of thousands of all the materials. And I built all these things here. Okay? I'm going to go over each of them. And then, once you've got all the stuff built, you can send the provisioner who will be your seventh member you can send them to a different place okay so you only have six people and you can also make sure you disable this which is your recruitment radio beacon okay so you need a settlement with six people and basically what you have to do is you have to get crops enough for each person we're using mutt fruit plant because each day each villager eats one fruit and this is the only fruit that produces one okay and so one person you can see them here they produce enough food there they are in the middle they produce enough food for the entire settlement okay so it's six people and six food uh water all you have to do is build water pumps okay you've got three there just in case but you really only need two so you have six so i've got nine water power doesn't make a difference but i have some because i already have it set up Defense. Now, the thing that I seen said you needed six day defense. They used 80. I have 141, only because I wanted to have turrets going all the way around the settlement, and I already had some of them, and I wanted some here for protection. But if you don't want to do that, I think you only need to get 60 or above for six people. Okay, you have to have set. Well, you can have six beds. I have seven. They have to be inside. Okay, you can't have them out in the open. So I've got bed here, and there are beds in all the different houses. Okay, the reason I have seven is because you're going to need to have one for you to sleep in. Okay? And that is pretty much it, except for what you can see over here, for the rest of the people and their jobs. You're going to need 9,000 caps, because you will have to buy tier 3 clinics. Okay, if we just go to them, and we can look at them. Okay, tier 3 clinics, you need to have local leader perk level 2, medic perk level 1, you have to have wood, steel, and 1,800 bottle caps each, and you need to buy five of them. Okay? And then basically, you have one person working on crops, you have the other five people working at the medic stations, okay, and you're all set to go. Now, there was a couple of other things people said you have to have your settlement size to be a certain limit you can see mine's is not that far away from being it's kind of close to the end of my build limit but i don't think it makes any difference okay if it was only halfway i think that'd be okay and i've seen other people suggest that having signs makes your happiness go up higher i don't think that's true but i built signs mainly because i was bored Okay, and I was just using up all my metal. And um, because you're going to be doing a lot of weighing around. So once you've done that, 
all you have to do is just follow this method you wait for your happiness to kind of reach a point where you don't think it's going to go up anymore once i bi finished building all these clinics my happiness was around 84. okay but all you have to do find a bed and sleep for 48 hours okay sleep in your bed and simply just go outside and stand there until your happiness goes up okay sometimes in the beginning when you're around 80 or 84 it would take the first time it took around 10 minutes but sometimes it can take like over an hour before it goes up but it will go up if you have an arrow next to your happiness that points upwards it means it's still working okay it's just going to take a long time but sometimes it could take five minutes sometimes it takes over an hour like i said and as soon as it goes up okay head back to your bed and go to sleep again for 48 hours okay go back outside you don't really have to go back outside make sure you're in your build menu and just wait okay if you've got a wired controller you can just leave your controller on go do something else come back and see if it's gone up and if you have battery controller like i do then i was just coming back every 20 minutes and just checking and basically i've just done that a couple of times until you get to around 95 happiness and every time you go to sleep after that for me anyway my happiness goes up like one or two minutes later so i've got all the way up to 99 hopefully we can get up to 100 in this episode it hasn't gone up by itself i have to go to sleep for 48 hours and i have to just stand here and hopefully within like a minute it will go up to 100. okay so if you have all these things we talked about and you just follow the method sleep wait for it to go up sleep wait for it to go but and that should be it okay now there are other ones online where you have to buy like 20 clinics or 18 clinics but i've showed you here you only need five so long as you follow this method okay i'm not sure who came up with this method it definitely wasn't me but if someone knows you can link it in the description below okay but i'm going to go to sleep for 48 hours now and hopefully it will go up to 100 and my achievement will pop up All right, guys, so it's been 48 hours. I'm just going to stand outside in my build menu and just see what happens. OK, so I've just been standing here. You don't have to move or anything. You just have to stand still and it will go up. So there's a couple of things we can go over while we wait. Um, you have to make sure that the people who are working or living in your settlement are called settler. OK, they can't be special characters such as people who are already here, like at Abernathy Farm, there was already people there. They've got names like Connie Abernathy and stuff. Okay, they have to be settler. They can't be provisioners. Okay, as soon as you send someone on a supply run, even if you give them a different job, they will change to a provisioner. Okay, you can't have those working here. And you can't have companions either. Okay, like Preston. So none of those, they all have to be settlers. If you don't have any here or wherever you are, you can just send them from a different settlement. That's okay. All right. So I think we've covered everything. It's just have to wait. The past four, I think when I got to 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, all went up by one after I slept within the first two minutes. Okay, so I'm hoping 99 to 100 is going to be the same. But if not, I will just uh, let this run and keep recording and come back, okay? Which I'm going to do now, okay? I'm just going to leave it and I will see you guys once the achievement pops up. Well guys, after 10 minutes, the happiness never went to 100. So I actually slept for another 24 hours and after two minutes, uh, you can see there we've reached 100 happiness in this element and there's the achievement. If we click in it, you can see what it's for, reach maximum happiness in a large settlement. Okay, and even better guys, that if we take a look at the game hub is my final achievement for the game as well. Alright guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video showing you guys how to get 100 happiness in your settlement in Fallout 4. And I will see you guys in the next episode.